Hey everyone, Pinchy out here and I'm back. On today's episode, it's gonna be quick. We're gonna show you guys how to turn off that pesky coolant ball light and wiper the white when you do a wiper delete or not coolant ball delete and the uh, wiper delete on your 12 valve VR6. Let's get to work, cause this is Pinchy Owl's baby. All right, so on today's episode, we're gonna, again, we're gonna show you guys how to get this cooling ball light off, cause or a coolant level light off. And so if you have your hood open and your harness all laid out right here quick and easy, the wire that controls that is this guy. It's on the main loom, on the passenger side with the headlight. It's the one that's all by itself. That is the headlight one here. Now get yourself a little set of jumpers okay now before we do that we're going to show you what comes up when you delete your coolant ball on your said car <laughs> if you guys ever had low coolant before then you should know about this but if not let me show you guys so when you turn your car on um you should be getting a light that blinks uh coolant level right here and top off fluid. <laughs> uh, come on, it's almost all the way on. <laughs> there it is. Now, see right there? There's a flashing uh, coolant level light. That one needs to come off. And then we also have the wiper one right here. Now, this is a 2012 valve VRX, I mean VR6 GLX package. So this is gonna have like the digital display uh, like most Mark IVs don't have. So we need to turn off those two pesky lights so they don't bug us when we turn on the car so back over here we're gonna go and find that harness that we were talking about this guy right here now the way that you know it's the cooling ball one it's that one with the really straight 90 degree on it and it's a two wire make sure the car is off plug in your little pigtail now this is for testing purposes, so we're going to turn uh, pigtail that one, and we're going to let kind of like set it so it doesn't fall or anything like that, and then we're going to go into the engine bay, I mean back into the car. Now that we're back in the car, we put the key in the on position, and we wait. So the only light I'm getting right now is top off wash fluid. Uh, so that one is that little one right here in the right, uh, the bottom right corner. But I no longer am getting the one on the upper left hand corner. That means the car thinks that the cooling ball, the level is at the proper height and it's not giving us an issue anymore. So yay, that's fixed. Now let's turn off this light right here on the right hand corner. Now this light's a little the trickier side because it's home to a couple other sensors here. Now. There's two of them. There's a big chunky one and there's a little thin 90 degree one. I can't remember. I think it's this guy right here, the big chunky one. The cool thing is it won't harm. There's no harm, no foul if you jump either of these two wires. The other ones are the headlight and your turn signal and your hood uh, sensor. So leave those alone. I think this is the hood light sensor. Yeah. See? Yeah. So that's the hood latch one. So yeah, the one by itself, the big chunky one right here by itself, should be the uh, the wiper, the the coolant ball, not the coolant ball. I mean the the wiper uh, level uh, for the, the the reservoir for the wipers. That should be it. Jump that and see what happens next. All right. 
Look at that. Light's gone. The other light's gone. The only thing I have a, an issue right now is my brake pad wear sensor. See that one? The brake pads I bought didn't come with the wear sensor. So I'm going to go return those and get swap them out for other ones. But that's not a big deal. But that kind of solved it. Let's turn the car on. Now with the car in the on position, we should be getting the same thing besides the check pads light. Um, still having that. I do have a check engine light um, it's due to my tune, so we're gonna get that solved later. I'm not concerned about that right now. Yeah, that solved it. So we now no longer have lights, annoying lights going beep, 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 warning, warning, don't drive the car, or the wiper one kicking on, oh, you're low on fluid, they're all gone. Uh, the next step is obviously to work on the check engine light, my ABS, and my brake wear, and my EPC. EPC can be due to something that's coming with the check, brake, uh, with the check engine light. My thoughts is probably there's something wrong with a either a, a MAF or a, a knock sensor that's just not giving the car a proper signal and it's giving us a weird issue. But honestly, because of my alternator going bad, it also could have caused all this stuff and giving me a weird voltage fluctuation. So it could cause the car to act weird until the battery is all the way up to a proper charge level. Uh, we'll do a full reset on the car afterwards to see if that helps and solves the problem with it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll figure it out. Thank you. Like and hit that subscribe button down below, guys. And hit the notification bell because you won't know when I make new videos until you hit that bell. So that's when you know when we pop right up with new content. As well, if you guys are not a part of it, become a Patreon member. Becoming Patreon members helps a ton on this channel to help create more and more content for you guys plus car giveaways how awesome is that thank you have a wonderful day peace out and love from pinch Al's garage